Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Keeping the kettle on, UK to build nuclear plant first in European Union since Fukushima. Spain posts highest deficit in European Union due to bank aid. Bulgaria seeks 6 million euros in EU assistance to deal with refugee crisis. EU parties line up for Brussels' top job nomination. Plus, pointless, EU laws cost each British household £1,000 per year. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, Britain has struck an agreement to build a nuclear power plant, the first such deal in the European Union since the disaster at Fukushima prompted a major rethink of the energy source's merits. The contrast underscores how few options major European economies have if they want to keep households' energy costs from spiking. The £16 billion project, which was agreed on Monday with France's EDF Energy and a group of Chinese investors, aims to keep the lights on in Britain amid declining supplies of North Sea gas and rapidly escalating fuel costs. However, while it will help keep the country's carbon footprint from increasing, it may not keep electricity prices down. Under the terms of the deal, the British government has promised to pay the investors who will build the reactor at a price of electricity for 35 years of as much as £92.5 per megawatt hour, plus inflationary increases. Now, think about this from a business perspective. I really feel strongly that the UK government is making a grave mistake with this implementation. In essence, we have foreign investment interests whose primary interest is return on investment. I think that leaves questions about local environmental protection. More importantly, we have a finite life reactor that we will never own and will always be paying for. I think that is a mistake. This should have been a national investment initiative funded by government on behalf of UK taxpayers, ensuring return on investment, an improved national balance sheet and clear connected interest in the local environment. Data from Eurostat, the European Union's official statistics office, showed that Spain closed 2012 with the EU's highest public sector deficit as a percentage of GDP. It came in at 10.6% when international aid for the banking sector is included. Now, excluding international funds for the country's banks, the public deficit ratio was 6.9%, less than the 7% estimate seen in April, but greater than the 6.5% target set out by the Spanish government. Elsewhere in the EU, Germany registered a public surplus of 0.1% in 2012. The lowest deficits were those in Estonia, Sweden, Luxembourg and Bulgaria. So whilst the EU and indeed our own politicians are singing like pit canaries that the economy has recovered, I think these figures show that even after massive slashing of public services, increases in taxation, austerity, countries across the EU are still running deficits. That means increasing debt, which means increasing debt costs. Imagine what will happen when the bond markets start pushing up the interest rates. Bulgaria is seeking help from the European Union and its member states to deal with an influx of refugees from war-torn Syria and elsewhere. Bulgaria's cabinet, Mund 